Coventry, you may now begin your presentation. As you can see up here, we are called Covingham. Basically, our group is all about unity. We really, had, we really, we really, really came close together with everybody that's in our group over the couple of three days. Uh, as you can see, this right here was created this morning by one of the members, Licky right there. From scratch, from start, he made this right here. Step out of the way, guys, so you can see. Basically, basically, we got a lot of skills in this group, and we think we can make a big difference. We got Ashton, who's going to talk about the issues. Ali's going to introduce a project. Ish is going to conclude, and Leek is going to tell us all about the project. So I'm going to pass down to Ashton so he can tell you a little bit about the issues that we came with. Hi. As Lewis has just said, we're a group called Covingham. We're Covingham because we're two cities of Coventry and Birmingham, united to make Covingham. Beans as we're two cities, we've both got a lot of issues. Together, that's even more. So the main issue we're going to be focusing on is getting kids out of the streets and into doing something. We've got loads of other issues which we're going to like conquer, like lack of education and poverty, things like that. And now I'm going to give you to Ali so he can explain it further. Um, hi, guys. Basically, on the CSV day, what we're hoping to do is set up a large event for the youth of uh, Coventry and Birmingham. And what we're basically going to do is set up some sports and workshops from different businesses that will um, help the youth from our areas get in touch with other stuff that they might be able to do. So pass it on to Leaky. Okay, so the idea is to be able to give you an understanding of what we want the day to have. So these guys are here to give us the funding, hopefully, to be able to run this event. It's a one day off event, and we're trying to bring you youth in with something that you love, which is sports. We're gonna be running tournaments, for example, a basketball tournament, or probably even a football tournament. Whatever you want, youth, whatever sports, we'll be running on the day. But most importantly, we don't want you to only enjoy this day, we want you to learn about something. I found myself in my community, being in Coventry, I don't really get to hear a lot about what is going on around. I think that's the problem with what youth. Youth are willing to do a lot of things, but unfortunately, we just do not have the opportunity to get that. Now, this event will have sports running and stalls. Think about a market with a playground in the middle. Now, the market will be full of clubs all over the city, volunteer, people looking for volunteers, companies, investors, that will be able to talk to our youth that have come to play and see the opportunities that they're able to, to give to them. And that way, through your funding, we'll be able to have the stores all around the area and the sports, the food, the music to be able to welcome us in and for us to learn and grow together as youth and, and members of the community. So you move to the side, please. Martin Luther King once said, take the first steps and believe. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just the first step. Covingham is here to, to provide that first step, give people to a direction to go in. Unity makes changes. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Covingham. <laughs> Judges, you may now ask your questions. Can I just say something? We basically came up with a slogan. It's basically, unity makes a change. That's a slogan, yeah? And I thank you all the fellas, all the group managers, and everybody that made this possible, and you, and you guys, for the opportunity to actually stand here. For me, this is a big step. Questions from the judges, please. That was a great presentation. Thanks very much. Um, in terms of sort of raising the profile and marketing, will you be working with schools and colleges to sort of you know, market the event? Um, schools and colleges are also a great way of doing it. Um, but the problem is that, as, you, as the last group said, there's a lot of people who are not in schools and not in colleges. And so what we'll try and do is to be able to uh, go into all the areas that we feel the people who, who have the ability and, what, and have the need to push themselves forward. We're here at Wellington College and we see that a lot of students here have the ability to have a passion for something and go for it. Their parents have given them the ability to do that. Now what we want is for children who don't have their parents to support them to be able to find something, something that, that a hobby or something that they know that they can make into a business, into a passion for their life, something that will make them better for them to be able to start, make the first step as he said. And that first step will be able to lead them into better things and give them the opportunity. And so as for schools and colleges, yes, they'll be involved, but also we'll go into looking deeper into people, just simple people in the streets. We are a group that hopefully in the next few uh, months we'll be working together. We'll be out in the streets. We'll be making leaflets. I will make a leaflet, something better than this. You know, only two out of, you know, but we can do this. And that's what we need here. Uh, 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 
Hi guys, um, I think that was, I think you lot presented that really well. Um, you know, seriously, you all look, give yourself a pat on the back for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, a question I want to ask, you know, have you identified, the, you know, somewhere where you, you can hold this event and, you know, look at, have you thought of looking at any, getting any famous people down to try and give you some support on it? Basically when, we were talking about, sorry, basically, when we were talking about this, we thought about playgrounds. There's big playgrounds that um, were able to house this kind of uh, opportunity, have this sporting grounds already. And the thing is that these programs, are, these venues are already set up by your businesses um, and, so, and charities. And so therefore, we can go into that and openly in a safe area where it's controlled and it's already set up for us to run. This thing can actually start in a month. And seriously, it's as easy as that because you have the links and we have the opportunity to do it. It's, it's possible, and I can see it. That's, uh, that's why we're passionate about this, you see. Yeah. And one final quick question, judges. Um, it's not a quick question, unfortunately. Um, when you talk about doing it quickly, I think, it's, I think it's very, very important to start doing something. In, in any project like this, the most important thing is to do something, stop talking and do it. And I think you've got those great plans in place. But this event that you're talking about seems or sounds to me as though it's going to be a pretty big deal. And to do that properly might require a, a bit more planning than a month. So what you might want to do is do something interim to get something underway. But then a big event like that that's going to affect so many people, you might just want to take a little bit more time and, and really plan it out and do it properly. I understand what you're saying, but basically what we're looking to do is more or less go around the different communities and get them involved in some sort of activity where we can actually come across them and let them know there's going to be a big event at this day where they are, they'll be aware of what's going on. Do you know what I mean? And also, also, there's not a one-hit wonder. It's going to be on. We're going to go back to our communities. We're going to put on this year. Next year is going to be on again. And hopefully, the people that are going to come and participate on the events along the years are going to start volunteering with us and helping us set up the next event. Great answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Covingham. Yeah. Just to answer your question quickly. Also, we work with groups. These guys, we, we play sports together, right? And these, oh, we are able to push that. Okay, We're all from different areas of different parts here. We play sports. We do whatever. There's members. There's people that I can see, our friends and family that we can bring into this. And you say it might take a long while. All we need is a space, footballs, basketballs. Okay, Covingham, I'm ready to cut you off. We have to move on. Thank you very much. Can I ask Darlington to go backstage?